Welcome back, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to take a look at Vonix Synergy Wheel Spray Coating. 500 milliliters or 16 ounces for $27.95. This is a ceramic spray for rims. I normally don't let really anything get dirty on this vehicle. The rims, the wheels, maybe get a light coating of brake dust after a long ride. So for me, Phoenix EOD's Hydra, waterless or rinseless wash, however you want to use it, is, is fine. If you have something that hasn't been cleaned in some time, maybe a dedicated wheel cleaner, uh, get it as clean as you can. Get the, the surface of the wheel, and it doesn't really matter if it's chrome or aluminum, stainless steel, alloy, painted, clear-coated, powder-coated. Get it clean. Next step for me is going to be Kamikaze number no. 5 body cleanse, and uh, this will be used to remove any left behind uh, waxes or sealants or coatings or traffic film or anything on the wheel that could hinder the perfect bond between the coating and the surface. Now these wheels, the barrels of the wheels are not finished. These are two-piece wheels. They're actually coming off and they're getting powder coated. So I'm just gonna do the face of the wheel for today. But if you have uh, a wheel that's finished all the way through to the, from lip to lip, do a wheels off and then take care of the calipers as well. After the cleanse, I'll flush it one more time with the rinseless wash. You can also use a panel prep. Uh, some of the features of the spray coating. Uh, it boasts to last up to six months, gives you six months of protection on the wheels. Uh, easy to apply. It applies like a spray wax, wipes off just as easy. Short cure time, around an hour or so. Um, they do claim that it has amazing water shedding and beading effects and makes the wheels easy to clean and they stay cleaner longer. Let's get the spray coating applied. Shake the rich formula within the bottle and then you can spray directly onto the surface of the wheel if you feel like it. I'm going to go and spray into a microfiber applicator. You can see the viscous uh, coating. Prime the applicator and then get it applied. It doesn't matter how you apply it as long as it's evenly distributed upon the surface of the wheel. Now, I'm not going to be in a huge rush here. I'm going to give the product a little time to settle on the surface as I search for a microfiber towel. And then uh, we come back and we just wipe off all of the areas that we applied it to. You're going to feel the slickness immediately. That's all there is to it. Let it cure for a full hour before letting it go out into free flowing water, rainfall. As you can see, the wheel is nice and bright, it's glossy, it's shiny, and it's now protected. Now, it does claim to be able to put up with the heat uh, around the wheel because of the braking systems. Uh, I do have it on a vehicle. It's been about four weeks or so, and this is a heavy vehicle. The S550 here is over 5,000 pounds. Um, so there's a lot of heat going on with the braking system. It is dirty. We are going to wash and clean the wheels and then we'll come in and take a look and see if the protectant is still there. Personally, I'll use the same shampoo as we used to, to wash the body out of the foamer to wash the wheels if they are coated. No need to grab a strong caustic wheel cleaner when, a, when they are protected. It will quickly break down the protection.
Just a soft detailing brush. That's all that's needed to agitate the cleaner on the wheel. No need for anything overly aggressive. It is protected. And then simply rinse thoroughly. Now you can use this as a standalone. You can use this over top of a professional wheel coating. And if you're using this as a standalone, you can simply use a detailer or a spray wax or a sealant on top of it to maintain it. Or just reapply the product every six months or so. And after four weeks, no problem whatsoever. Even up front where the braking system really heats up because of all the weight on this vehicle. And because of this protection, drying the wheel uh, with forced air makes quick and easy work of it. They still look good. They're still shedding water. Uh, they're still protecting the wheels. So far, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. That may increase. Uh, I will keep an eye on the protection on the wheel, and I'll keep you posted. This has been Brian from Apex Detail, and I'll catch you in the next video.